Hello and welcome, you amazing person. My name is Rob, and I'm a gaming guy. And look, people, we're back in BMNG, and we got World Editor open. Today is a good day, because we're doing a BMNG World Editor tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be focused around these lights turning off and on during the night time rather than just staying on all the time in the daytime. So what I mean is if we go over to the day and night cycle, you want the lights, ideally the street lights to only be on at night time, but they are constantly always on. Well, we're going to fix that today. Quite simply, it's not a very hard tutorial. Come on, do hit that like button and subscribe, because this is going to be quite a fun one. Now, for your lights to work, you're going to want to grab a file from one of the original BMG files. Go find the small island. If you're not sure where it is, you can open up Steam, right click on BMG. There's a plane going over the top. Good timing, plane. Very good timing. Thanks very much. Um, yes, well, you want to open up Steam, right click on BMG, then manage files, or go into your program files, find Steam. Go to Steam apps, go into common, go into content and stuff like that. Find BeamNG and yeah, locate through BeamNG content levels until you find the small island. Most of you should know how to do this by now if you've been uh, messing about with building maps anyway. Open up this file. And you want to look for, in the main one, the law file. Main level law file. I'm going to right click, copy. And now over in your normal BMG files, which is located in your document files, go to your mods files, go to unpacked. If your level is not unpacked, go into BeamNG, go to your repository, find your level and unpack it there. It will end up in the unpacked mods folder. Then find the map you're working on. Today's one is just go up. Uh, which will say, Flood. Run away from the flood sort of map. Obviously, I won't stick it to the real name. Um, anyway, for the purposes of this video, we're going to use this one. I'm going to paste that law file into your map file. That's it. We can have a look at this if you want. Not too much going on here. But in here, you will see this. Harbour Lights. You can control and copy that if you wish. Or if you're good at spelling and writing, just remember it in your head. But we're going to put one of these as a group in BeamNG. Let me show you how. Okay, here we are back in BeamNG. Now we go to the side here. This is your scene tree. You don't want to put a group in here. Well, put all your lights in one group. And uh, I've only actually got one light here. So if I click on this light, it'll pop up highlighted. And I can right click and I should, I'm pretty sure, be able to put you straight into a group, put into a new group. There we go. And then if I open this group up, I'll have that one light in there. And you just put many lights as possible as you want in there. And you'll go rename, re rename that to Harbour Lights. Now imagine you can just go to the code and change it to whatever you want, but this is my easy way of doing things. But now, we also want to check another setting, which is your time and day, which is your TOD. If you go to your sun and sky and all that, find your TOD and uh, check the settings that are, are correct. Yeah, one, two, that was correct. That's correct. I think start time might be different on um, if you're not sure what it should be go over to the small island go into its world editor click on its tod and then copy the same settings i can sort of remember them from the top of my head um i think this one might be wrong i know these two are right and i think this one might be like meant to be like 160 rather than one naughty i'm sure it was 
and then this might have been 20 um, rather than 10 mm. Mm. I don't think it matters too much but uh, we're going for 20 it seems like too much has changed right okay does the light work straight out of the bat no that's not a problem I imagine I just gotta save it and uh, restart the map and hopefully it's working Woohoo, fingers crossed people there we go I've read loaded the map as you can see I don't see any purple on the floor so I've gone into time and day and bink it comes on and then bink it goes off so there you go that's how you get working street lights in BMNG so what time does it come on about five o'clock um a little bit early personally uh, maybe half five six o'clock I don't know normally it's done by what time does it come off about six o'clock in the morning not too shabby not too shabby so there's your working street lights so have fun if you want to change this time yeah not a clue not a clue whatsoever it'll do something to do with the start time and things like that in the TOD settings um, as far as I can really imagine there wasn't any settings in the uh, code itself to change the start time I don't believe there was anyway let me have a quick look and I'll go back to you okay yeah so you do have a little bit of code by the looks of it you can change these numbers to uh, activate the values and stuff um, I don't know what they're going to be so if you need to change the times have a little bit of experiment don't go too crazy and um, I'm sure you're working out pretty easily there's only could be higher or lower isn't it so two variables you can go to really and that's it your beam and G fun times oh why is the screen got there we go beam and G fun times can begin at night time without spiking the CPU loads during the daytime which is one of the things why you don't want all the lights running constantly because the game doesn't like it but maybe you liked this video if you did feel free to hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you in another one you've been an amazing person I've been the Manic Gaming Guy keep it real stay safe and share that love bye 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 bye